This video will show you how to make a form, an interactive form, using Google Docs. In order to use Google Docs, you have to have a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account, please get one. There's actually a link to the class in the class to show you where to go to get a Gmail account. So once you have your Google account, you just sign in. This is Gmail, in case you haven't seen it before. But up here at the top, you'll see some links. Uh, Gmail has a really great calendar you might want to check out. We're going to be using this Documents link today. So I'm going to click on it. Google Docs offers you a free version of basically Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Excel, and then they have this great form function where you can make an, uh, an interactive form. So I'm going to click on form and here's my form going to get started. So I'm going to call this sample form and in this box you put any explanatory text on what the form is about or what you want them to do with it. Alright, so then you start adding questions to your form. So for example, question title is actually where the question goes. So I could put something like, what is your name? I don't need any help text, but I could put some text here explaining to the person who's using the form what this question is about text works fine. Text is this little box they can type in. And you can see there's many different types of questions. Now if I want to make sure that people answer this question, I click here, make this a required question. Alright, click done. Alright, now let's edit question number two. Click on the little pencil. is your address and once again I could use a text box maybe I could give them a paragraph text box which is bigger make it required that's up to you to decide done okay now once I do those first two then I have to come up here to add item and add a question and I have to decide what kind it is so let's try a multiple choice Now this is a multiple choice question, right? So let's see, option one, and then they can choose one of those questions. So I hit done, and let's try a question, choose from a list. This is actually a drop down type of a question, so, and then option one could be Laney, Sue, Merit, easy C. So now this question looks like this when it's clicked done. And so the person just points at it like this and chooses. Well, let's look at a scale. Scale is when uh, people can choose on a scale of 1 to 5. So this is good if you're going to have uh, surveys for students. On a scale of 1 to 5, how do you feel about great or terrible? And let's take a look at that. So you can choose whether they feel great, terrible, or indifferent about whatever. Now let's say I want to go back into this question and edit it. I just put my mouse pointer on the question, click the edit button, I just click done again, and I can choose one of these. Okay, one other one is a grid. So let's take a look at that for example. So so in this case you have columns. So you could have one to five here and then the rows have labels. So you could say something like uh, all right, so let's take a look at this. What it look So in this case you would probably have to replace these numbers with, you know, good or bad or whatever, but you get the idea. You can apply a theme to your form. There's a whole bunch of canned themes here. And you can just pick one. Let's pick something really corny. How about these spoons? Okay, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to apply it. Now, how do I look at my form? Here's the link right here. I just click on the link down here at the bottom. 
and it takes me to a live version of my form. Now when somebody answers this form, uh, whatever and then they submit it, whatever information they give you will go into a spreadsheet. So let's go back into Google Docs. Alright, so here's my sample form. I can go back and look at it. And here's the actual spreadsheet that I get from the form. So all whatever questions I type in appear here. If I want to edit the form, I go here to form and edit form. And I'm back here again. So just take a little time to fool around with this. It's not very hard, but you gotta get used to the different mechanics of it. Okay, give it a try.